Hello, I thought I'd do a little video of my turtle incubation chamber. It's uh, just a shoebox with clamping uh, handles at the end. Uh, it has no air holes at all in it. Uh, I believe enough air leaks in that uh, it could uh, be all that these little baby turtle eggs uh, will fit into. So the lid is a tight fitting lid over, uh, some people call them storage boxes or sweater boxes. And I have a tin foil covered uh, uh, protector uh, in case there's condensation on the bottom of the lid. Instead of having the condensation drip back into and onto my eggs, I put this over it and then if the condensation hits here, it runs off to the side. Underneath is the actual incubation area. I have uh, buried eggs about a quarter of an inch underneath the uh, slightly damp, moistened uh, peat moss. Uh, there are eight eggs underneath this square of paper, eight eggs underneath this square, five underneath this square, six under that one, and six more under there. And I'm going to place the nine eggs in this area here. I'll set this aside for just a moment while I show you the rest of the incubation chamber. Inside the incubation chamber, there is water actually run out of the filter material, it's sort of like an air filter material that I have in the bottom of this. And then I have a plastic grating over the top of it. And this keeps the humidity even in the incubation chamber. And I believe that that's an important aspect of successfully incubating um, box turtle eggs. These are the nine box turtle eggs that I dug up this morning. One is exceptionally large, and I'm going to place them touching each other in this area here. And uh, we're going to leave them here for approximately three months. And I'll leave them there longer than that. And when the little baby turtles hatch, they're very agile little creatures and they'll crawl right out of this box or burrow into the peat moss that is inside of the box there. And then they will, um, I'll see them crawling around in here in September and I will uh, take them out of here and place them into a area probably with carpeting and uh, moisture and then I, after about a week, their little eggs underneath their, uh, on their plasteron, their stomachs, their um, eggs will be totally absorbed. Sometimes they hatch with still part of the yolk from inside of the egg uh, stuck to their plasteron. And I've got those nine eggs there uh, all placed in there and uh, what I'll do now I use this little paintbrush to knock most of the dust off of the eggs uh, when I, uh, after I brought them inside the house. Um, in this manner, uh, I hope to be able to allow uh, reproduction of uh, my uh, box turtles. I have, I must be doing something right because they are, uh, these are some box turtles that are laying eggs now. Are, some that I raised from babies about seven years ago, and uh, they uh, I just barely cover it with this uh, peat moss like this, and I like to have the eggs in contact with each other just like they were in the um, nest hole. Um, they're not nearly as deep because um, they don't need to be as deep, I don't believe, under the ground uh, to simulate uh, lack of oxygen or air circulation. I think it, the depth that they lay their eggs is to protect the eggs from extreme temperature changes. When the sun hits the area or uh, rain, uh, all those things that uh, might have a, uh, an effect on the eggs, that's part of the reason, or maybe the major reason, I believe, that they lay their eggs so deep underground. Now I've got those covered up and I'm going to just take this little piece of paper and lay it across there like that indicates nine eggs laid on July 29, 2017. And uh, then what I do is I put 
the cover back over the uh, incubation area, and then I place the uh, relatively tight fitting cover over the top of the eggs. There's quite a bit of air in there, and it remains a, a constant humidity, and I've had really good luck using this method. I hope that uh, anybody that wants to try something similar, you, I don't use any artificial heat. I keep it in the computer room, sometimes near the ceiling. Sometimes the temperature in there, I think, gets up as hot as 83 or 84 degrees up near the ceiling, but sometimes it drops down to 70 degrees. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little video of my uh, incubation uh, chamber. I don't have all the eggs in this one box, so to speak. I have uh, another incubation chamber that I haven't showed you in the uh, computer room. It doesn't have, uh, it has a very similar setup.